Hi, I'm Kevin Kimball, Associate Professor at Southern Maine Community College. Today I'd like to talk about determining the initial speed of a projectile given its maximum height and its angle. It's helpful to begin by putting yourself in the picture, and by that I mean drawing the picture. We're talking about an object that probably did something like this. It went up and it came back down. Simple enough. This would represent its maximum height. Doesn't seem like much to go on, but amazingly, if we knew its maximum height and if we also knew what this angle was, we've got everything we need. So let me get rid of this here and start with the idea of how something goes up and comes back down again. There's that old saying, what goes up must come down. Well, that's determined by gravity. And there are a number of formulas out there that tell us the behavior of objects that are thrown up in the air and come back down. One of them reads like this, that the initial velocity of an object tossed into the air is equal to the final velocity of that object minus two times the acceleration of gravity times its height indicated by the letter S. Don't ask me why we use S, we just do. So if we know what the height of the object is, and we're presuming that we do, and we know what gravity is, we can pretty much figure this out. Oh, by the way, the final velocity of an object when it's being tossed up in the air, when it gets to its maximum height and it stops, well, the final velocity then would be zero, wouldn't it? So let's just plug in some numbers just to be creative a little bit. Let's say that we have an object that reached a maximum height of 15 meters. So the final velocity of such an object would be zero minus two. Gravity is opposing the velocity vector, so we give gravity a negative value, 9.8 times the height, 15. So, we have negative 2 times a negative 9.8, that makes it positive, so that's 19.6 times 15, 294, equals the square root of 294, okay. equals 17.146. And that would be 17.146 meters per second. Now, here's where we pull in a little bit of trigonometry. We had this projectile going in this direction initially with a velocity of 17.146 meters per second. But actually, we assume it was doing something like this. This is where we bring in a little bit of trigonometry. Let's say that we know that the angle was 35 degrees. Well, we actually have everything we need to know to find out what the actual trajectory was. We're going to use a little bit of trig. Remember, this is opposite, this is adjacent, this is hypotenuse. Remember your trigonometry, so Katoa. Hypotenuse equals opposite divided by the sine of the angle. 
So that's going to be 17.146 divided by the sine of 35 degrees. which is 0 0.574, 17.146 divided by 0.574 equals 29.871, 29.871. Per second. So, if we had an object, a projectile, that had moved like so and had reached a maximum height of 15 meters, and we knew that its initial angle was 35 degrees we can figure out the initial velocity going straight up and from that we can use trig to derive the length of this hypotenuse and we can see that the actual trajectory would have been 29.871 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees. My name is Kevin Kimball and I hope this simplifies things. Mm -hmm.